All right. Hello. Hello, everyone. And, you know, welcome to the podcast. I'm glad y'all are here, either listening or looking at me, my goofy looking face. I don't have my glasses on because, um, one of my dogs chewed up my glasses. So that's a, that's a wonderful time. So I just had to spend money to basically get it more. So fuck, but, Oh, I hope y'all are doing well. I hope everything has been good with y'all. I know I haven't posted something since I think June or July or something like that. That a lot has kind of happened in my life to where I couldn't actually, uh, what you call it? I couldn't actually do any like podcast or anything or talk basically. Cause you know, one I had a family problem I had to get through with. Then after that, I was like, fuck, I got to find a job. So look for a job. Finally got one, you know. I I like it. They get paid stupid. I'm trying to get paid stupid. So I got to get past these months of probation. Then what else has happened? Oh, uh, try to go back into school. Uh, try to talk to a lady because apparently I'm on academic probation for anybody that knows what that is. Y'all know, but for anyone that don't, um, Whenever your GPA gets below a two while you're in uh, school, I guess for, I guess, uh, like if you're a vet and you're in school and your shit goes below 2.0, the first thing that happens is you get academic probation. I'm in that. Dude, I I wasn't last semester. I wasn't dealing with it. I think the fucking, uh, what you call it? The, the teachers are fucking weird. I don't like them. I didn't like the whole feeling of it. So I kind of just... Failed almost every class that I was in last semester or the last semester that I was in school. So fuck that. Fuck trying to go back to school. So, yeah. Oh, and kind of big news, huge news, actually. Uh, what, what I'm doing here is first off, I changed the name and I changed the logo. So it's no more. It's no more uh, Puff with Fluff. There was a name that was Puff and Fluff, and I wasn't I wasn't really fucking with it, and it came out before me, so I was like, "Fuck, dude, I need to change the name." And I decided, "Hey, yo, you gonna make it out of the name is called Out of Fluff, like you know, out of pocket, but instead out of fluff, because you know." We just going to end up saying more shit that is probably just going either, you know, people going to fuck with it or they're not going to fuck with it. But hey, this is what the fuck we going to do. Out of fluff, change the fucking logo. Look at it. Look at the logo. Hold on. I got like a whole little scroll. Oh, look at that. For those. Oh, shit. Y'all can't see, huh? Tripping. Hold on. Hold on. I'm over here fucking shit up. There we go. Bring the whole thing over here. Blah. This is like my whole little fucking, I guess, shit. I don't really care if y'all see this because what the fuck are y'all going to do? But right here, out of love, look at the little logo. It kind of looks weird right now because of the way I have shit set up. This is for whenever I need to actually show y'all something. I can just squoop right over here. And then there's millions of me and shit like that. But logo right here, out of fluff. I should have added more clouds like down here, but I got lazy. But it's pretty nice. Pretty fucking dope. You know, there was actually way easier way of showing that. But hey, whatever. Yeah, I hope y'all are doing well. And welcome to the fucking podcast, out of fluff. And of course, your host, me, Fluff. Welcome and thank you. Thank you. Let's get this fucking shit started. I go back here, man. Fuck. So y'all can mainly see my face. Y'all probably seen like some of the different.
topics or whatever that I had on here. I'm probably not going to talk about all of them, but we just going to go. We just going to rock with it. We going to go down the list. We going to see how it goes, where it goes. Live the best life, all right? Shit. But anyways, for y'all, I mean, y'all ever thought like, you know, you know how was that shit called? Pangea, whatever the fuck, basically, or AKA, you know, everybody, everybody in the world came from Africa first. I guess like Adam and Eve came from Africa. So automatically they're black. I don't care what anybody says. Um, Adam and Eve is black. Uh, Eve got, Eve got tricked in to biting the apple by a snake. Um, I think it's a metaphor, honestly, to be honest with y'all. And uh, y'all can think of it from there. They're black, uh, quote unquote, snake, apple. Y'all get the gist. But nah, I think what I think the main question, though, that I had was. Who came first, though, like, you know, was it the albino that came first or the white man that came first? Like, you know, shit just don't spring and pop up out of nowhere, I guess, except for like Adam and Eve, uh, unless you want to think about it like in monkey terms. But then you got to think all the way back there. But I mean, yo, who came, who came first though? Like the albinos or the white people? Cause me personally, I think that, you know, I think albinos were the start of the white race, you know? Cause that shit just don't make any type of sense. I mean, they, if, if you look at albino, you look at their symptoms, like these motherfuckers can't be in the sun or it hurts them. And then you think about it, like, you know, also white people can't really be in the sun for that long either they start getting hurt like shit albinos i think come out automatically blonde don't know how genetics work like that but i mean shit i never seen an albino with black hair unless they dyed it but like natural black hair nah so albinos are just fucking white blonde people so And that's the start. And they figured out that, hey, look, man, we we too close to the motherfucking sun. We're going to go up this way. They either they went one way or they went the other. Neither north or south. Don't matter to me. They are trying to escape the motherfucking sun. That's probably why you see like a decent amount of white people in Africa, like South Africa. I know that there's a there's a decent amount of white people there. So they ain't just move there or anything like that. You know, it is. Albinos, they got them. They got them there because the albinos are everywhere. I think. Uh, actually, I lied. I don't think there's any albinos in fucking like uh, uh, places like Asia. I don't know. But shit. Yeah, man, that's. I know that people are going to be like, you know, science and that it's like some other fucking way or some shit like that. Like, man, you know, fuck, fuck all that shit, bro. If we wasn't, if, it, if there's no pics or no videos, no fucking text written of it back in the day, I mean, fuck it. Yo, this, if it in, until I see actual proof from the ancient ways of like four billion years ago, whenever the fuck the first albino or white person stepped foot on earth, then I'm going to say that white people came from albinos and technically we kind of all black in a way. Damn, it was like we all the same. And I don't know about for, uh, for Asians though, kind of more questionable. So I feel like this, this is what, this is what I think about it. Okay. Everybody except for Asians came from Africa. And hear me out. Hear me out. Asians are actually the people that came from Mars because I think Mars used to be populated, but they fucked it up so bad 
that they ended up moving here because it was a more habitable place for them to be. And that's why I think, you know, Asians, they just look so different compared to like everybody else. Like, you know, you can see, you can see like a, like a Latino person and they look like they're just white, like, but they're born, raised in some type of Latin country. But, you know, Asians, they don't really work like that. I mean, I guess their transport over it was Hawaii or some shit. Cause, but then again, I mean, you can, you can still tell, you know, Hawaii apart from like, you know, regular people. Cause you know, they, they kind of look, they also had kind of have their own certain look, but I think it's just cause they're big as fuck for, I don't know what reason. Like, I don't know how much food grows in Hawaii, but they're too fucking big. So But yeah, Mars used to be, uh, used to have the Asians there basically, and they were smart enough to be be able to bring their stuff over here, and then you know we kind of just vibed it out. That's what I think. Shit, I mean, because not well, fuck. I don't think there's any really good way to get around through this. But I mean, if you look at the at the alien that Mexico found, right? I mean, you can't tell me that motherfucker don't look Asian. It just look like an old Asian man, but just no hair, no genital, no nothing. I mean, think about it. That motherfucker do look, hold on, let me, let me see if I can find it. Hold on right quick. Cause that, that motherfucker, Mexican alien. I think it's going to pop up in the images. Yeah, bro. Hold on. Because, like, ain't no way. <laughs> bro. <laughs> he can't tell me this motherfucker don't look Asian. I'm sorry, bro. This just confirms for me that Asians are aliens. But that's cool as fuck, though. That's dope as fuck crazy that shit that's just fucking crazy I'm trying to tell y'all man i know what i'm talking about sometimes maybe just maybe i feel like this sound is gonna be crazy i'm gonna have to do some extra fucking fine tuning because i'm throwing this mic back and forth like this almost this whole time but But yeah, there you go. Black people were the first were the first humans on earth. Then the motherfucker came out albino, started the whole white race. That's how light skins came about and shit. I tell you. Then Asians are from Mars. And they just fucked up bars so bad. They brought their asses here. Crazy. <coughs> Don't trip. I ain't for, I ain't forgot about like you know, Indian people either. I, Indian and like uh, like Middle Easterns. I forgot about y'all. Y'all still part of the came from blacks. I'm telling you, man. On we we all kind of almost look the same, just different skin tones with different you know facial features, but. Asians just look completely different, bro. Like, especially like, you know, like Chinese and some like Korean and Japanese look completely different. Like you could put a, you could put some Indians next to a black person and people think that they the same. But honestly, you know, you're not. Indians are like the black people that got straight hair. <coughs> their jeans is just, their jeans just uh, made straight hair. That's all it is. But 
but fuck. Just, uh, I think earlier, I think like sometime either like last week or like, uh, two weeks ago or something. Uh, me and my girl was in the car and we were just driving. We were driving back from, I think, getting like Wendy's or some shit like that. And we was just randomly, I don't know how he got to this topic, but we just started talking about, you know, Oh, I think she said because somebody wanted to, like, you know, kill someone, you know, metaphor wise or something like that. Not really like actually legit. Like, you know, I want to. I want to stab a bitch type of kill, like like, you know, you get mad at somebody and you just feel like, you know, you want to kill them. Put it like that. I think I think most of y'all know what I'm talking about. I feel like I ain't, I ain't really say that right, but it don't sound right, because whenever you are mad and you want to kill somebody, then you kill him and you kill him because you're mad, man, fuck it, whatever. Metaphor, metaphor of killing. But you thought about it, you're like, you know, everybody, everybody or majority of the people in the world have thought about killing someone before. Like, Probably not at a, out of the intention of actually wanting to do it, but you know, they will probably like you, you know, you've thought about if, if you had to kill somebody, like what would you do? Or like, how would you kill them type of thing? Like what, what would you end up doing? Basically say like, for example, um, like if I was the, if I was to kill somebody, then I feel like the best way to do it is like, you know, the Dexter way. You got to chop them up chop, 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 and just throw their different body pieces inside of the ocean. Dexter, Dexter was clean with it. So I think Dexter was the, he was the better way. It's just, he got caught up, but yeah, so like people, people have had to think about it before. Like, I don't, I don't think for example, um, every everybody hasn't thought of killing somebody and like, you know, meaning to actually plot on somebody and kill them. Not that type of killing somebody, but like, you know, you've thought about how you would try to kill somebody if you needed to kill somebody. I feel like majority of the people of the world have done that before at least once in their life. And for the ones that be like, no, 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 I don't, I would have never thought of that. Or I don't ever think about that. Like, Y'all are lying unless you're a nun or just a pure, sweet old lady. Cause I think almost every man in the world has thought about it before. Like, fuck, like if I need to go into some gladiator type shit mode, like what the fuck do I need to do? Or like, you know, any, anybody that thinks about the Roman empire has 100% thought about how they would kill somebody or if they needed to kill somebody. So yeah, that's that that has to that has to be it. it. Unless you're old not not old or like a, just like a little sweet pure person or like a nun like you've I can believe that they've never thought about killing somebody. But like everybody else, yeah, no. Nah, don't like y'all motherfuckers can't even lie. Y'all can't lie or shit. Y'all know damn well that y'all thought about killing somebody. Y'all plotted in your head like you had like like daydreams of like ah I could fucking choke this motherfucker out or you better be lucky that this fork is too hard to stab or I'd stab you in your neck type of shit I don't know there's some crazy ass motherfuckers out there like that I don't know we kind of all crazy it's a normal thing But, uh, some shit is not normal though. Like, um, like if you, like if you genuinely just writing like scripts or like you're drawing, mapping out plans and shit on how to kill a person, that's not normal, bro. You a murderer, you a murderer shit. Be around me. I ain't ever done that shit before. Or like, uh, like, dude, these people that be making these crazy ass mangas that like 
is like gory and shit have 100 percent thought about killing somebody before like it like to that extent of how some of these people write out of how like they kill somebody and they like draw it out too it's crazy like yeah us i think it's a normal human thing to think about how you would kill somebody because of the natural like survival of the fittest like if an apocalypse happened like and you need to actually fight off things like you know you you think about it you think of in i'm not saying that you think about it all the time but you 100 percent thought about it at least once in your life so i mean shit but yeah no it's i don't even know how fucking i don't even remember how fully that we got there but yeah but it is crazy because we was talking about it so much and we were going out the elevator and it came out like the door opened and it was just this couple there with their like little baby and they were just looking at us and then we just kept on talking about it and i like coming out of the elevator i was saying like yeah i've thought about killing somebody but have i ever tried to kill anybody no i never tried to kill nobody but i definitely thought about killing people and uh so i think that one of my neighbors probably thinks that i'm a psychopath or i think probably almost all my neighbors kind of avoid me so that's pretty cool leave me the fuck alone so yeah Oh man. Nah. Dude. I have a uh I have a game addiction. And I actually I haven't I haven't been playing it while we've been talking or well while I've been talking I guess. But as I'm saying it, I need to pull up the game as well because I got grinding to do. I got a fucking I'm addicted to playing fucking Summoner's War. Y'all won't believe on how much I've spent over the past since 2013 or 14. Summoners War been out. 2014. Summoners War has been out. I have put probably 10k in this fucking game. Like, I think it's an addiction. And then I lost my first account, so I had to start all over my first account was the one i put like a shit ton like i think i put like 7k at least on that bitch so now on this one i haven't i've only put like a couple of hundred they've updated they updated the game so much that like it's it's way more doable there's less grind but i just hope that y'all y'all don't ever get addicted to a game and then spend thousands of dollars on it because uh fuck fuck what man man what is some oh that's some bullshit oh my god so i just got a fucking i just got a text <laughs> i i just i just got a fucking text and that shit saying um my girl just told me that she got there and that there's a whole fucking old school car show like bro I, what the fuck i wanted to see that i would have went with her and she would have had her little lunch with her friends and then i just would have went to the fucking car show i wanted to go oh let me let me message this out man i like old school cars yo they're they're clean like if i don't know what the fuck all these companies thought of when they switched over to almost all these cars looking the same but you know how like much detailed and clean these old school cars look like bro like clean as fuck and i'm not even talking about the the muscle cars like uh I'm talking about them old school kind of like Chrysler looking cars or like the old school kind of like Chevys or SS uh, Nova is pretty nice. So fucking hold on. Yeah, 80. 
I think it's an 87 SS. Nova. Nova SS. Wait a minute. Hold on. Skirt. I'm tripping. I'm in like 70 something. Like these shits right here, boy, these shits are clean. And look, look at them, bro. Then what about just like old school cars in general? Like, bro, they don't, they don't make cars like these no more. Like these just have such a dope vibe to them. Look at the back. Yo, these shits are clean as fuck. But we got bum ass looking cars now. Like our our cars just don't look nice. These fucking future looking bitches. Like some of them, like the only thing that kind of looks nice on these on some cars is like the grills. But the rest of this whole body shit, there's no, there's no like fucking. What's the best turn like texture to the bitch? Like these, like look, like you have like little nice little designs. You got nice wheels, a decent looking front. Like bro, it just there is there is so much that could be added to cars nowadays. Like if. You just type in new cars. Yeah, not these futuristic bitches, but like, you know, you regular shit that look like this. G Wagon, oh you like this this shit don't even look nice on the side, bro. Like Yeah, like you have you have a nice looking front. Like cars like these, you know, of course, like luxury more looking cars, they're gonna look more nice, but I mean just old school cars just had more flavor, bro. Like there was so much more flavor back then. I'm like, now look at these shits, bro. They almost all look the same. Look, look. And it doesn't, even, this shit just looks ugly in the front, bro. But there's like nothing on the sides, nothing really. It's just swoop all the cars swoop swoop. Unless you get cars like these, these are different. Like these, these look, they look sexy. Like they, they look amazing, but you don't see these around and you can't even drive these in the street, bro. Look how close it is to the ground. Hit one fucking bump. If you want to, bro, your fucking bumpers coming off. Like, fuck that. Look, look. What the fuck is this? See, the bullshit. Take me back to the old school. Look, I get like you know some of them. Some of them are just sleek back, like they're just like you know. But I mean, they just look like there was so much more detail on the sides. The front looked clean. The back even looks clean. Oh, this is a bad example. This back just looks horrible compared to this. Like this, this looks clean. Yeah, bad example, bad example. And now I'm just clicking through fucking cars. Fuck. I think if I was the if I was to have a car company, I would definitely look more into like this the fucking style of the car because that's what mainly sells the car for regular people is the fucking style then i got completely way off track i was supposed to be talking about fucking having game addictions and then i got into speaking about fucking cars dude what the fuck <laughs> where am i supposed to be at next
Mm. Mm. Dude, on a, on a about like white people, <laughs> I want to talk about this. I think I think white people should give more head nods. You know, you know how like you know black people we go past each other and we give like little head nods or like you know what's up or what's good or like you know just more. I I feel like more white people would get along. Or like you'll, they'll start to see that you know black people are not really that bad whenever they start giving head nods to black people. You know they start doing it back. Cause you know I don't, I don't know what it is about about us but we just if we give a head nod you know we just be like what's up but I don't know what it is like it I'm telling you doing uh, I need to do like an experiment to see so just have a I'm just gonna have a white guy just go around just you know nodding his head to people just be like yeah like what's up don't don't say my brother though that's that's what we need to get get out of here this is white people if y'all just say like you know what's up and that's it don't don't say my brother just be like what's up you can end racism telling you because black people ain't gonna go around high-fiving motherfuckers i high-five people but, you know, I'm not no regular black person. I don't think so. Maybe, maybe not. But fuck it. Just give head dies, bro. I don't know what, I don't know what black women do when they pass each other. But at least for, for black men, we, we give head nods. And then if you, if you don't even give a head, if you give a head nod, but you don't get no, like you don't get no head nod back from the other dude. That's a, wait, what's it, what's it called? I don't, uh, fuck, I can't say it. I just thought about it. I can't say that. But yeah, bro, I can't. It's like no, no not. I think it's like no not in niggas. It's it's like three ends. It's like no. I think it's no not in nigga. Not not non nodding nigga. Non non nigga. <coughs> That's a hard ass word. Two words to say. Not. Not not in, not not in nigga uh, n- nigga no not in. <laughs> ah fuck not in, not in, nigga not dude why is it so hard to say non not in nigga ah now I don't even say I don't even think I'm saying nodding I'm saying not in. Nine, 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 nine. Oh, <sighs> my brain hurts. But a no, nine nigga. That's what we gonna go with. But no, nodding nigga. No, nine nigga. Fuck. Gotta piss me off. But don't be like that. Just nod your head. Be like, what's up? Or be like, what's good? No, don't say what's good. Yeah, no, no, no. No. mm, mm. Don't do that. Don't be like, what's good? Be like, what's up? No, no, you just be like, yo. Yeah, just say yo. For y'all white people, yo. Just do that. Don't I just thought about it. You you probably going you gonna get pressed. You gonna get pressed. If definitely if you say what's good, you gonna get pressed. Yeah, so don't don't do that. I'm trying to save y'all. Cause you're gonna do it to the wrong one. And you're gonna be like, yo, what's up? Like, what's good? Then you don't want that. 
No, you don't want that at all. Because then you're going to have to fight. So you might get more respect after that fight. But you're going to have to fight. And fighting hurts. Unless, you know, you get first hit and you knock them and you just knock them out. Then it won't hurt for you. But, you know. Some niggas be they look like they square up and then they start throwing windmills. I don't know about y'all, but I don't know how to dodge no motherfucking windmill. That shit. That's like a direct hit. Cause fuck, how you how you supposed to dodge that? You just back up and run. Then you just gonna look like a bitch. You getting hit by a bitch. Then y'all both bitches. So nah, you just take it. Some niggas they be like. They be going like that. So shit. Damn. I do want to keep these. I still I'm still going to keep these at around like this time frame. But yeah. Thanks for all y'all that actually watched through this. You know. I love y'all so much, <laughs> so much, but no, really, uh, thank you though. Thank you everyone for that tuned in, listen to it all the way, even though y'all hear me start rambling, but you know, it is what it is. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be good. Don't just do more. Be more. Thank you. Peace. Mm-hmm.